Hey guys, Jake here from Positive Existence Personal Training and today I'm going to share with you a cool little video. Uh, we've been getting a lot of questions lately and people asking for some help with their nutrition and in particular breaking bad habits when it comes to nutrition. So today I'm going to share with you our three step formula for breaking a habit. We're going to talk specifically about how to do that in the food department but you can also use the strategy on breaking any old habit that you've got. Okay. So uh, let's use the example of say uh, bad snacking is really common, whether that be in the afternoon as you get a little bit tired or maybe just before you go to bed at night. Okay, so three steps to breaking a habit. Step number one is we really need to identify and get super 100% clear on exactly the habit that we're talking about. So don't just say something like, oh, eating the wrong foods. Let's get really, really clear and make it specific. So it might be I want to improve my afternoon snacking, okay, so lately I've been eating chocolates and blah, 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 when I get tired, so we want to improve that, okay, so get clear, specific on exactly what you want to do. Step number two is we're going to identify the feelings that we get just before we do that habit, so for example, um, if you're an afternoon snacker on sweets and things like that, or chips or whatever it is that you crave at that time, you might get a feeling every time where you feel tired or you know run down or a lack of energy or it could be a certain emotion that you start feeling okay there could be a specific time where it happens most days so it could be three o'clock in the afternoon or 3 30 or four o'clock as you start to wind down for the day that kind of stuff it could be a specific place that it always happens it might be on your drive home after work or it might be uh, in the afternoon tea room at work so if you can identify all those things, get really, really clear, that's going to help us in the next stage, okay? Step number three is breaking the pattern, okay? So basically our brain works kind of like a computer and it runs programs, okay? So round and round they go. So these old habits are basically a program that your brain's running. So we need a circuit breaker, something to trip that circuit, break the pattern and allow us to create a new habit, okay? so. Uh, let me give you an example, if um, in the afternoon when we start feeling those feelings or around about that same time as we normally get those cravings to have our afternoon snack, we're going to come up with a circuit breaker that changes our pattern immediately. So that could be for you, instead of going to the afternoon tea room to have your afternoon uh, snack, whatever that might be, you might wander around the car park outside instead. So you might go for a 10 minute walk while you're eating something healthy. Okay, so that's going to break your pattern and make it much, much easier for you to create a new habit. Okay, so remember your brain's only capable of one thought at a time. So normally if you get uh, tired in the afternoon, you start thinking about eating something sweet or eating a chocolate, you keep thinking about that, you're going to get you know, more and more likely to consume that thing. Whereas if you recognize that feeling straight away and you replace that thought with something else, it could be when I get that feeling, uh, my circuit breaker is to drink a large glass of water. Or it could be to go outside and do 20 squats or something like that, or go for that walk around the car park. Something to break your circuit, okay? So let's recap. Step number one, identify. You can't change anything if you're not clear on exactly what you want to change. Step number two, we need to identify the feelings, the location, the time, the place, all of those things, getting really, really clear on the things that happen just before we perform the bad habit, okay? And that is gonna trigger us to implement step three, which is our circuit breaker. So that could be as simple as get up and go for a walk. It could be to say your positive affirmation in your head. It could be to uh, revisit your goals if you've got your goals written down on a piece of paper, but really, really need to be committed. A really good way to help you with that is to um, come up with a buddy uh, and at the end of each day for say three weeks, takes three weeks to create a new habit, uh, on average, obviously, everyone's a little bit different, but you might agree with your buddy that every day for three weeks we're gonna check in each night and tell each other how we went with our circuit breaker today, okay? And how you went with changing that habit today. And that way, that'll keep you accountable to making it happen. So, really, really important. Like any strategy, it will not work unless you do, so make sure you are strict on yourself and you're diligent. And for those of you who know what I'm talking about, you're living above the line, so ownership, accountability, responsibility, and a victor mentality, as opposed to below the line, blame, excuses, and denial, and being a victim. Okay, so be a victor, change your habits, create some new ones, and I really hope that helps, and uh, let me know how you go with it.